Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to give you guys my go-to wardrobe items for this spring and summer season. If you're new to my channel, I am six months pregnant, so my wardrobe and my style has been tweaked a little bit. So I wanted to give you guys tips on how I've been maintaining and still being able to keep up with my personal style even though I have a growing belly here. So let's get started. First item I'm gonna show you, well the first two kind of go together, but the first one I'm gonna show you is the midi link dress. I've really been enjoying wearing midi link dresses because I like to show off my baby bump. I feel like if I wear stuff that's like too baggy, and like really just doesn't showcase it. It makes me look bigger than what I am and it makes you look frumpy. I like to wear the midi link dresses here and I do wear these to work. That's why I also like to pair them with a kimono or like a jacket or something of that nature. But um, mostly I've been wearing kimonos because of the season because they're a lot lighter and it's a lot colorful. It's a lot more colorful for spring and the summer. My next item, which should be kind of a given, is the maxi dress, which is like super comfortable. Like all you do is just throw that on and you're good to go. So I'll show you guys this one that I have worn a couple times that I get a lot of compliments on. I think it really showcases my belly bump really well, but I've been liking the more fitted maxi dresses if I can find them. I like those, like I said before, shows off my baby bump, and I am very proud of my baby bump, so I really like to show that off, so yeah. Okay, so another item that has been working really well for me is the Palazzo Pants. I've actually worn this particular pair probably twice already, and I really, really love them. I actually wasn't like a huge fan of Palazzo Pants prior to me being pregnant, but these have been a lifesaver for me. Especially being that it is humid down here in the south. Hasn't gotten as humid just yet, but it's going to. But this is very cool and ventilating for me, ladies. You know what I mean. <laughs> I don't really like wearing tight bottoms in the summertime just because like it just it's too hot <laughs> like to do that. And it's just like you sweat too much and it's just it's just a whole thing. My next item is the biker shorts. I have been loving biker shorts and I've never thought that I would, like this would be a thing for me, but these have been a great alternative to wearing leggings because in the fall, like towards the end of like the fall, winter, when I, um, earlier in my pregnancy, I was wearing a lot of leggings, but now that it's gotten a lot warmer, I really can't do leggings right now, but biker shorts have been like the perfect replacement for that. I've got these in a gray and a nude color and I love to wear these with like if I want to wear an oversized tee like if I buy like a men's tee because I've really been liking to do that lately like I'll show you guys in the clip <laughs> excuse me so I want to I like to pair these with a men's tee and also I could pair it with like a crop top because these do fit over my belly bump so it makes it like high waist I could do a crop top with like a cute little jacket or a kimono or something like that so these are very versatile and I never thought that I would love biker shorts but biker shorts is my best friend right now and lastly I wanted to share as far as footwear what has been my go-to items because as if you've been watching my vlogs and any of my pregnancy update videos my feet are like a really big issue as far as like the hurting like prior to that even before I got pregnant I think I mentioned that I don't have arch in my foot so I already have foot problems on top of being pregnant so my go-to footwear has been platform sneakers excuse me that these are a little dirty I have not cleaned these yet but I have been obsessed with 
the platform vans. These have been very comfortable for me for work and then just, you know, out and about. I do still wear an insole inside of them. I wear um, the Dr. Schultz insole. So those really have been helpful to me. It's giving me extra support when working on like the hard floors and stuff. Extra cushion and support for my feet. And I have been obsessed with them. And again, this is something else I never thought that I would really like. Cause I'm not really big platform person as far as like sneakers go. Cause I really wasn't, when the whole sneaker wedges trend was out, I really wasn't with those. So the fact that I actually really like the platform sneakers is a definite surprise for me because I was so not here for it. But these have also been a very big help for me. Also purchased, um, some from Forever 21, just like a basic white pair that I could wear to work as well. That have like the platform, um, the platform on it as well. Those are my go-to items for my wardrobe for the spring and summer season. And I hope this is helpful for you ladies out there that are expecting, like I am. It took me a little minute to get my groove as far as like what works for my new body right now because at first it was a little discouraging because I couldn't figure out what works for me. But now, since I got it, I go out there and slay the world. Don't forget to check me out on my social media platforms. I'll leave all that information below. Don't forget to check out my fashion blog. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with any future mommies out there that you may know and as always i'll see you guys in the next one bye